Question. What is the difference between the enduro and the carbon cage? The difference is not much. The only difference between these two paramotors is the hoop. The mainframe is the same, the harness is the same, fuel tank is the same, the spars are the same. It's just the hoop, the ring, that is different. On carbon, it's obviously made of carbon fiber, nice aerodynamic profile. And on the Enduro version, it's an aluminum tube. We use 7075 tube, which is the best on the market. With performance and parameters, it matches stainless steel very, very closely. It's super easy to repair. And this is the reason why we use carbon cages for our adventures and res as rental machines. Even if participants break something, we rarely replace it. We usually just repair it. We put a little patch of, of carbon fiber over the damaged area and it will be as strong as it was before. It doesn't look as Ferrari as before, but it definitely serves the purpose and it's easy to repair anywhere. We don't need a welding machine. We don't need any workshop. We just need a little patience for the epoxy to cure. So it's up to you. Some prefer the Enduro. I prefer the carbon. That's my choice. Question. Is the Scout compatible with the trike? Yes, we offer trikes, a single seater and a tandem trike. Both are super simple construction, so you basically take your scout as it is ready to fly, mount it onto the trike, and you're gonna sit in the same harness and just connect the carabiners and you, you go flying. It's very easy to choose whether you wanna fly foot launched or trike today. You can choose it's compatible. You don't need to do any modifications to your scout. Just put it on the trike and you're ready to go. These trikes are really good. They have really big wheels, so they roll very nicely, even in high grass. Good quality, not very cheap, but very good value for money. Go to scoutparamo.com to see the options and check our eShop. Question. Is the scout propeller better than the e-prop? Answer yes and no. The EPROP is lighter, that makes it spin, spin up a little bit faster. So if, if you hit the throttle abruptly, it spins up faster. These props are equally efficient. They provide kind of equal thrust and climb rate and consumption. I haven't noticed any difference in noise and loudness. Seems to be the same to me. What the Scout Prop is better at is obviously durability. The leading edge of the Scout propeller is one centimeter full layer of, all, of carbon fiber. So the leading edge is filled with carbon fiber. So if you hit the stone, the carbon fiber, oh, the, so, so if you hit the stone, the stone will most likely just bite a little bit into that thick layer of carbon fiber, but not bite all the way through to the structural parts of the propeller. Due to this added protection, it's a little bit heavier. So if you are an aggressive pilot going on and off throttle very often, then you would probably prefer the EPROP. If you are more into adventure flying, more into cross country flying and cruising, when quick acceleration is not really your priority, but you want your prop to be durable. If you take off on areas where you have a lot of stones and there's a higher chance of damaging your prop or you're going on a long adventure, where you really don't want your prop to break just with a, any, any small stone, then get a scout prop, you will be much better off than with the e-prop. Question. I'm struggling to install the bottom hoop spar in place. Any tip for that? There is a one very simple trick that works 100% of the time. So you step on the bottom of the enduro stand and you push the top of the frame a little bit forward. This will flex the whole frame a little, just enough to, to enable you to place the spar in place to connect it with the hoop at the bottom. Check the link below for a video that will guide you through the whole assembly process with this trick and many, many other tricks how to assemble your Scout. Question, what is the exact weight of Scout Carbon and Scout Enduro? Scout Carbon is 26.6 and the Scout Enduro is actually surprisingly slightly lighter, 26.2 kilograms, ready to fly just at fuel and go flying. The Enduro used to be a slightly heavier because previously we used stainless steel tube for the hoop 
and actually we have stainless steel inserted in the spars as well but now that's over we changed it both carbon and enduro frames use the same spars full carbon spars it's just a hoop that is different but this time we use aluminium hoop made of the best aluminium available on the market 7075 t6 this material has the specs almost the same really close to stainless steel it's very strong and durable question why do you recommend vitorati monster plus engine Short answer, because I'm pretty happy with the Vitorazzi Monster Plus as a pilot. I like the power delivery, the smoothness, and it is also pretty reliable. So we use these engines for our paramotor adventure trips, and we fly over really unforgiving areas, and we need to be able to rely on the motor, and we actually do. We had very, very few problems with the engines on the go which is amazing performance taking into consideration how much we fly how many pilots in the group and so on and so on so i'm pretty happy with that the long answer is that i'm also happy with the vitorazzi monster plus as a manufacturer for us it's you know we specialize on designing the best paramotors but we are not that experts in engines and we need to use a really good engine with good customer support and i have to say that the uh, that the support from Vitorazzi is excellent. We've never had warranty claim rejected by Vitorazzi. They're pretty quick in replying. They're efficient in delivering. Um, it's all fine. And uh, I have visited their factory four years ago and last year. And I have to say I was impressed how much progress this company made. Everything is so nicely organized and uh, arranged and, and it seems to be very very clean yeah I was impressed they made a huge progress and they they're very professional so thank you Vitorazzi keep up the good work question are you offering any other engines except Vitorazzi Monster Plus yes for lighter pilots I would uh, recommend the Vitorazzi Atom 80 I love that engine it's so smooth and beautiful if I, I wish I had 60 65 kilos I wouldn't fly anything else for heavier pilots, uh, for competition pilots, we install the Polini 250. That's an amazing machine. I used, uh, I've flown it for two seasons when I did some competition. It's really, really great, but for the purpose. For regular flying, for average pilot, I would stick to the Vitorazzi Monster Plus. Yet, if you need a little bit more extra power over the Monster Plus, then the Corsair Blackpool 235cc is an option. It's power-wise somewhere in between the Monster and the Polini 250 with weight a little closer to the Monster Plus. Um, so these are the basic options that you have with the Scout. Question. I want to buy the Scout frame and install my own engine. Can I do that? The short answer is unfortunately no. The long and complete answer is we would gladly install your engine for you just ship us the engine we will install it we want to be sure that everything is installed up to our standard that everything is paid attention to that's needed so you fly a complete setup and uh, we can sleep well that you're safe so we are open to your needs question i am a non-scout pilot but need spare parts for my vitorazzi engine would you sell me the parts for my engine yes of course we will gladly help you Go to eshopscoutparamount.com, select which version of the Vitorazzi Monster, Monster engine you have, and there you have the, all the list of the spare parts. Just swipe your credit card, we have most of it in stock, so we can ship it next day. And if you need any help or questions, just feel free to send us an email. Question, I want to buy some spare parts and build my own scout. Can I do that? How? The short answer is no, and it doesn't make sense. It's like buying all the spare parts to build the car. It, it will be more expensive than buying the car itself. But we would really like to build the Scout for you according to our standards. We know where we did our mistakes before and we learned from previous mistakes. So we know how to do it right. And so you have the best quality and the, and the best safety for your flying. If you're tight on budget, I can understand that. Check out eshopscoutparamount.com. We have a demo unit section. 
So eventually we may have some uh, used uh, demo machines that you can buy with a little discount and happily fly just as it was a new one. It comes with a short warranty as well. Question. My Vitarazzi exhaust cracked but it's out of warranty. What should I do? One way is to try to weld it. Sometimes it helps. We tried previously to add some reinforcement to make it more rigid, but fact is it does not help at all. If you make that turn more rigid, it will just break a few centimeters further. So if you want to weld it, yes, you may try. Just make the weld where it is and don't add any other reinforcement parts. It, it's not worth it. A good option would be to go to eShop at scoutparameter.com and order a new exhaust, especially the version from 2020 seems to be pretty good and reliable. So you have a good chance that you will never have this issue again. Should you have any question, please go to scoutparameter.com slash support. We will gladly help you and guide you through the process. Thank you very much for your attention and thank you for trusting the Scout. Thank you.